it's 3 30 in the morning and lauren's uber to me is almost here so got my backpack my luggage and um let the trip begin <laughs> The goal of Lauren and I's trip for Cartagena, Colombia was to experience everything that the walled city had to offer from the culture to the food to the nightlife to the islands and the exciting local things outside the walled city. So for the first three nights, we stayed in the heart of Centro at a hotel called Hotel Boutique Santo Toribio. We don't know where we are. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. So we're hungry. And these are all hotels. We're doing well. <laughs> this is massive. Like the size of this versus your face. First drink. Cheers. After lunch, we went out and explored a bit of Centro. This neighborhood is actually not that much bigger than Greenwich Village, West Village, and bits of Soho, so it did not take us very long. The walls were so beautifully painted, and there was a lot of art galleries and cool shops and very bougie hotels inside. We also stopped by to see what a lot of the vendors were selling. A lot of these vendors are actually Venezuelan refugees, which we did not know prior to arriving. You'll notice that some of the areas are still run down while others are renovated and very upscale. We're working for this drink. They're <laughs> stairs. Aperol spritz. And a melted, melted mark, mark. It's fine. So what have we done today? Well, uh, we got to the airport. The car was there. And this is the airport in Colombia. Took a walk. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> so we get to the airport. And we can't find our driver anywhere. So we're like, shit, we're, just, we're screwed. Like, we're not getting to our our hotel. So we find a way to call this woman. She's like, sorry, just wrong time. Your taxi's not coming, figure it out. And Erica's like, well, we don't even have a phone. So we take a lap of the sketchy neighborhood with our luggage, in our bags, buy a SIM card, find a taxi, super cool, new friends, get to this hotel, beautiful. We covered the taxi. After dinner, we headed to a famous bar called El Quimico. They partnered with a famous mixologist based in Miami to create three special cocktail menus for every floor. The first floor being a little bit spicy with a twist, second floor a twist on classic cocktails, and the third floor a tiki bar. This became our little home for the first half of the trip. We wanted to explore other bars, but we really fell in love with this place and even got a secret souvenir that they normally don't get. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
First stop on our boat tour was Playa Blanca, so you can kind of see how there's tons of vendors around, it's very crowded, not the most relaxing place. We stopped at Hotel Lizamar, which is a small boutique hotel with a beautiful man-made paradise. As you can see, we enjoyed our drinks, saw someone cook fresh lobster and crab, which we sadly did not enjoy, had a good meal, and laid out for a little bit before we went to our next stop. <laughs> so he's got massages. They literally charge us more than what they charge us in New York, but it's fine. She's putting sugar in it. Capture your face. Day three. That's it. We are walking around the plaza looking for food because we slept in today because we needed it. And yesterday, and probably tomorrow. There's a lot of cool air in here. From the same place that we went yesterday. Paleteria. She got guanabana y arequipe. Arequipe, which is some milky fruit. <laughs> you heard it here first. Never. <laughs> so we're going home to pack now. And then, trip of us. It's gonna be our time. We don't make it back alive. <laughs>
What? <laughs> After eating at La Cevicheria, we decided to make our way to the southwest corner of Central, which we had not seen yet. We walked the wall a bit, tried to go to the Museum of Gold, which was unfortunately under renovation, and ended up just wandering from plaza to plaza, ending up at Plaza de Santo Domingo, which has the famous statue that you might have remembered from the beginning of the vlog with the really large butt in your face. Afterwards, we went to a famous cafe called Abaco, or Abacus, where they have books and coffee. Halfway through our day, we checked into our second hotel in Hetzamani, the Brooklyn, quote unquote, area of Cartagena's walled city. We checked into Selena, which has one building that's a hostel, which you see here, and ours, which is a hotel building. There's a communal kitchen and a rooftop on one that has a bar and cool music and DJs that play. And then another rooftop has a really nice pool, which is our rooftop. This gives guests a chance to stay in a hotel room, but still experience a little bit of the hostel life, which I've learned I'm probably not too keen on. So as you can see, this is the rooftop of the hostel building, which is absolutely beautiful and perfect for those staying here or backpacking and want to meet new people. Whereas our rooftop has a nicer pool. At night, we attended a mini rooftop party at this roof where you can see the beautiful ocean view and chat with people who are traveling. Afterwards, we went out to the streets of Hitsamani and browsed around and even ran into Michael Jackson. Well, kind of, sort of. I don't know, maybe. The streets are really bustling heads of money and a lot of fun, but we need to get some rest for our next day. The next day, we woke up bright and early to go with the father-son duo of Duran Duran Tours to Mercato Brazerto outside of the walled city. This is a very authentic local Colombian market that I would not recommend you going without the lovely tour guides or with the local. The vitamin is in the skin. Yes. You need to eat the skin. Mm, really? Please. What kind of vitamins do you know? To All make, vitamins? To make you prettier. <laughs> Done. <laughs> you okay. Suck. suck. The seeds. Yeah. This is amazing. How is it? Interesting. It's good. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Me too. <laughs> you want to get one together? This tour not only includes the market tour, but also allows us to taste test Colombian native fruits. We're also picking out the ingredients needed to make traditional Colombian dishes for the cooking class after the tour. Catch yeah, every morning? Yes, they're fresh. Oh. Every day they sell all the fish. Position, it was whisk, whisk We are so lucky that this knowledge didn't go away. As you can see, Mercato Preserto is not the safest place to be, just based on how fast I'm going through these streets and recording this. It was actually extremely dangerous for me to have my phone out, but I wanted to make sure I capture all this for you, and I had the safety of my lovely two tour guides from Duran Duran Tours, which I highly recommend you guys booking if you ever go to Cartagena. After the tour, we headed back to their home and learned how to cook traditional Colombian dishes from the lovely and talented Maria. She taught us how to make coconut rice, fried plantains, stuffed fish, and we enjoyed a few hours of great conversation and even better food. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later, lunch was served. Thank you so much to Maria and Duran Duran Tours for this exceptional experience. It was truly special and I'll never forget it. It is sun raining. Look at the stark contrast between the square yesterday and today. She's so pretty. I'm this one. <laughs> All this beautiful art. Wow. Should we go in? And this is the outside of your hostel. 
Oh my god. There's the mente. It's pineapple. This street actually has a lot of abandoned, um, empty buildings. I know. There's so many hostels in this neighborhood. That's another one. I think these are all hostels. Look at the parrots and the monkeys and the toucans and the sloth! <laughs> So it doesn't hurt back there? That's good to know. <laughs> After getting tattoos, we close out our trip with dinner at La Perla, a great restaurant recommended by Vogue 7 restaurants to visit Cartagena. Flights in four hours and our room still looks like this. We're doing well. Ready. Say goodbye to our little room. Bye home. Bye home.